we go. Out of here. Keys. I like to put in my other pocket now so it doesn't poke the phone. When I bend over all flipping night, that's annoying. Okay, I drop the phone. Get my shiitake out of here. Lord and balls. Okay, throw that in there. Picked up some envelopes for my reselling stuff. Got some stuff for my wife for work, and I don't really want to take the cart, so I'm just going to get in the car. Actually, no, I'm going to take the cart. Over there. It begins. It's starting. It's here. All right, there we go. And here we go. The weekend officially begins for me. That's awesome. Turn the music down. I have to hurry up and get home because my wife is going to go nuts if I don't get home in a decent time today. But I am going to shoot this video real quick. And I kind of enjoy these, and I hope people do. It's getting off of work, shooting a video. Do I need gas? No, we're good. Uh, and kind of knowing what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's kind of neat. I don't do it every day, but most days I would like to do it. So kind of like, you know, let you know what's going on. You're on my leg, by the way, because I'm getting a drink. I'm thirsty. Um, I have extreme dry mouth, like constantly. I don't know if anybody has this problem, but it has been a huge problem for a, for a long time. I don't know, ever since I've been you know a teenager, and I'm pretty sure they've said that it is some side of, some kind of condition that they've figured out that actually some people have it. Uh, so yeah, but I've never looked into it. And seeing what it is. But I did get, I'm excited. I'm excited. But they didn't have the ones I really, really like. If you've never had boiled peanuts, boiled peanuts, this is Peanut Patch. This is at Walmart. Really good stuff. I don't remember if they're like $1.98, okay? For peanuts. Basically, soggy peanuts is what you're getting. If you say that really like an awkward, it sounds like you're saying something else. Anyways. Um, but I like the hot and spicy, but they've been out for like, I don't know how long. So I need to come in and talk to one of the support and see if there's a way that I can check when they're coming in. Hopefully they're coming back in because they're really, really good. And I don't want them to go away. Gosh, I wouldn't know what to do. Like I'm hoping that another grocery store carries them around here if they do get rid of them. But I need to ask somebody come in uh, at a time when... There's actually people that can actually do something um, and that can maybe order them because evidently they're stuck in, I don't know, because we keep getting those in, but we don't get the hot and spicy. So I think like some of the numbers wrong or there's some in the back and we're not stocking them for some reason. I have no idea. Maybe there's a recall. I have no idea what's going on, but I miss them. I like them. There's really, really spicy sauce. It's in, I and mean, it's not like super spicy, but it's kind of spicy, but But anyways, I wish I had a thing. I have something, but I want to mount so I can talk while I'm driving. I wouldn't really do much. I would just drive and talk. And I do it anyways. So I kind of, good lord. 
But I need to go ahead and get home. But overall, pretty stressful night. Uh, a manager came in tonight that was not normally on this shit. Good God, son. Blind me. Blind me. Lord. Shine it down, boy. Anyways. So, yeah, it was very stressful. I was having problems with my merchandise. See, what happens is, like, I am a redhead, okay? My temper. That sun, good Lord. Can you go away for a second? Jesus, Lord in heaven. Can this thing go over here? No? Oh, it can. What a miracle. A miracle of an invention. It's still blinding me. Anyways, I didn't really help. It's telling me a little bit. Here, I'll, I'll do it like this. Ah, ah there we go. Okay. Um, but I'm a redhead. I have a bad temper. And sometimes, like, things don't want to come out of boxes. They want to stay in the box. They don't want to come out. The plastic doesn't want to cut. Oh, my God. And, like, when I have nights where every single box is like that, and I'll have, like, annoying products, like, one after the other. I mean, I got picture frames tonight that I was stocking, and every single picture frame in individually in the boxes had bubble wrap around it so i literally had you literally have to take the bubble wrap off of the frame take the frame or pit frame take it out and most of these were the pdq ones but no 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 almost every single i think minus one or like i think three or four boxes didn't have bubble wrap uh on the frames which i understand there needs to be bubble wrap on the picture frames but can you do it like on the outside of the thing so that all you have to do is pull it out and take the bubble wrap out and be done no individual and it doesn't even protect them there is still some that were broken anyways that's the pain that I go through on the nightly basis because I'm a redhead and my temper flares up and things piss me off so there it is uh, Brad Tragic is kind of like I said been stumbling if you just call my vlogs the past few days, I've been, I've been kind of stumbling in the dark uh, as, as terms to life. So, I hope you guys uh, check my videos out. Let me know what you think. Uh, should I stop talking about this crap? Should I just get back to movies? Or do you like the vloggy stuff? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should start doing, like... Because I don't do vlog stuff very much. It's just basically just for me, kind of. I mean, if you guys don't enjoy them, I'm sorry. Just, you know, watch for the movies and... Uh, music reviews that I do and just skip these if you don't like them um but if you do leave a comment down below how's your life doing how you doing have you had some days where you just want to flip out and throw a box across the room <laughs> when you're working somewhere um when it's just like the product giving you trouble oh my god it's like so much things irritation beyond belief today what was another thing I'm trying to think of another thing that was happening Oh, I don't know. I got these rugs, and that's a whole other story for another day. <laughs> None of them would go up. Short story. None of them would go up because the department manager is horrible. Horrible. Like, the thing, they're, the barcodes don't match. I can't put them out. I can't put them out. The barcodes don't match. So I just gave up on the whole pallet. I just took the whole damn thing back, and I said, nope, not doing it. Stupid. Not, I'm not doing it. Somebody else can play with that game. Because literally every single rug. And I called management over there. They looked at me like a uh, eyes crossed deer. And basically walked away and said, Oh, okay, I'll let them know. That's what their response was. So I said to myself, Well, okay, I'm taking the pallet back. And I'm not going to work a damn thing on the pallet. And all there was was like two pieces of furniture, which they probably weren't going to go. I looked at, like, at it a little bit. And I'm like, nope, not doing that. They probably ain't going to go anyway. And there's like tons of rugs like on top of them. I'm like, nope, okay. I'm just going to take the whole thing back. So whatever, it is what it is. Uh, I told my wife, you know, like, if, if really, if I'm going to get in trouble for that, then they can jump off a bridge or something because that's stupid. Tell the person to do their job and I'll do mine, all right? They, the, the power manager in, in furniture in my Walmart, oh my God, I don't know who it is. I don't care who it is. They suck. I don't care. I don't care if they're like a family member, which I'm pretty sure my, my family member that works there. Doesn't uh, what's in the trunk? I got like I think I got diapers in the trunk. I'm looking back there and I'm like, look, there's a box back there. Look, 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 see the box back there. I was like, what the hell is that? Anyways, um, oh, 
And great news if you're well, if you follow the reseller thing, right behind me you see the red building. You can see that red stripe. That used to be Staples, but it's now becoming. Before I end the video, it's now becoming a Goodwill. So they're in the middle of remodeling. It looks like they're going to do like I would assume they would just do the most basic they could just to get it open. Um, but who knows? They may make it a nice Goodwill. Who knows? But I'm excited. I think it's going to be a better Goodwill. Hopefully, it's a better Goodwill. Um, ours ain't too bad, but you know, I think they just need to flush all the stuff out and get new stuff in. I really do. I think they just need to send everything else away and get new product. Anyways, I gotta get home. My wife's gonna kill me. Keep on rocking. Later, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep rocking.